next, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill on September the 18th. One of the real bright spots on this hot, hot day in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, this 45-yard kickoff return by Clay Parker from Paducah, Kentucky. It's the Commodore's longest kickoff return of the 82 season. Whit Taylor sprints out left to throw, looks back to his right, finds Alamo Matthews across the middle. He takes it in, then fights his way for a couple of extra yards down to the Tar Heel 22-yard line. Fourth and seven at the 20. Vandy going for the three-pointer. Ricky Anderson boots it through. It's good from 37 yards out, and the game is tied at three apiece. Great defense here by freshman linebacker Jeff McFerrin from Germantown, Tennessee. He jars the ball loose, and free safety Manuel Young recovers, and the Commodores are in business. Now it's second and 10 on Vandy's 42. Taylor under extreme pressure. He's almost sacked, but he finds big Ernie Goolsby running in the clear, and Goolsby takes it down to the North Carolina 37-yard line. Now from the Carolina 10. Jordan in motion back this way to the right side Taylor sprints out right to throw fires to Jordan wide open he takes it in for the six pointer and the Commodores are reeling and rocking in Chapel Hill North Carolina here's a replay from this angle as you can see Jordan wide open and the senior from Etowah Tennessee takes it in All-American putter Jim Ardle stands in to kick has time and booms a beautiful 47 yarder the return is only five yards before the ball carrier is nailed by Terry Dugan. Arnold's kicking average was 53 yards for the day. North Carolina 34, Vanderbilt 10. A hard fought game in extreme heat and one which saw the Commodores dominating the first half. Taylor threw to Jordan for the only touchdown and Ricky Anderson added a field goal. 